friends, I'm Joe Karlovsky, the super brave teacher and a beginner at ballet. And I want to share with you eight awesome reasons why I am obsessed with ballet. Long until I completely sweat through this whole thing. I give it two minutes, two minutes. I'll be quick. Before I get into the video, like this video, share this video, get the word out, not just about me, the super brave teacher, about the need for visibility and voice for all LGBTQ plus folk, teachers like me, students like me, and anybody who is just a little different. It's okay to be who you are. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe, share, like, do what you do. Beach ball, beach ball, beach ball, hold the beach ball. Here is eight reasons why I'm obsessed with ballet. Number one, for me, there's an addictive musicality to ballet. I mean, imagine going to a class and having live piano music. Every class, it's so, so nice. It is a treat. It is a joy to be in those classes. Once the pianist starts playing away, I just get lost in the music. And now that I have the basics down, I can just dance and be present. And it's like the music is telling me what to do and it feels so good. Number two, everything in ballet has, has a beautiful tradition and structure to it, which if you know me, I love me some structure. Um, so you go to a ballet class and the average ballet class is like 90 minutes long at least. And for the first 45 minutes, you go through a series of dances that get your body at peak warm up and peak readiness so that when you're away from the ballet bar, you can jump and plie and kick and do all these beautiful things. There's technical words for this and da 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 da. Don't need to re leave a negative comment below. Beginner, beginner. But I love the structure of ballet. Number three, ballet has just this fun community of people. Like, I mean, not all guys would wear something like this and feel comfortable and present with themselves. But if you take ballet, like, be ready for it. And not only just the garb, the garments we have to wear, also just that people, that type of person who loves music, loves structure, loves dancing. And it's just this unique, beautiful blend of people who kind of come in a little shy and they have the, their like space at the bar. Yep, I'm one of those people who has like, this is my space now at the bar, don't know if you know that. But it is so fun to just kind of be part of that group, that club of dancers. It's beautiful. Number four, yes, ballet has lots of structure to it. There's one way, one correct way to do things. But within that, there's so much freedom of expression of how you bring your arms up and where you look and how you turn your head and look up and it's just so fun to be really expressive in the dance. So much so that you want someone to watch you dance and say, wow, wow, that looks easy, even though you know it is hard. Number five, with ballet, you constantly, at least in practice, have to take a hard look in the mirror. You know, like when you wear something like this, the whole point is that you can see every muscle in your body every single little thing, crevice of your body so that you can perfect it and critique it and make it exact. And not only that, do it in a way that you're not gonna get hurt and you're gonna be safe and have fun. So it's been accepting of myself, like look in the mirror and say, this is like my whole self and to show up in a way that's not, ugh, 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 and just say, this is me. And it's really allowed me to become very comfortable and present in my body. Number six, I'm not gonna lie, dancer bodies are stunningly beautiful. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. But like, if you look at my Instagram account, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna stop following celebrities. I'm gonna start following dancers because like that to me is way more inspiring than a celebrity. Ah, <sighs> dancer body. Number seven. I initially took ballet so that I could have a beginner's mind. I know that I have a natural rhythm for dance and music and all that stuff, but ballet is hard as mm, And I knew that I wouldn't be good. Now, you might be surprised and say, Joe, I've seen you dance. I know you're pretty good. Yeah, when a teacher's calling out things and saying like, do you want me to repeat it? No, okay, let's go, da, 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 go. And everyone's just, and 
you're just sitting there like, how does everybody know what to do? And oh, and you feel so lost. You almost feel stupid because everyone is so good. It teaches you that, you know what? Have a beginner's mind. Look at it not as a failure, but as a challenge, as something that you get to try and little by little grow at and be better at. And now when I go to ballet and the teacher's like, okay, we're gonna go bra, 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 bra. I'm like, got it, don't need to repeat it, let's go, let's go, I wanna do more. And it's fun to slowly start going from a beginner to a beginner 1.5, <laughs> not even a beginner two, but I'll take it. Finally, number eight, ballet has really allowed me to practice what I preach when I say that we need to accept what is. Some days I am doing triple pirouettes and it is like flowing and I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. And other days I am like barely breathing. I can't even do one, one pirouette with control of my body. I'm like, Bruh! other times I'm like dizzy. <laughs> I'm just like, where am I? And it really just says, you know what? You gotta accept what is, what is right now. Because it doesn't matter if yesterday I was doing three spins in a row, connected to two spins, connected to a jump. Right now, I can only do what I can do. And it's very freeing to be able to accept what is. So there you go, friends. Didn't sweat too much. I mean, I'm getting a little pity, but like usually at the end of a ballet, like right away I start dancing and it's like, gets this like sweat and then like this is all crazy and ugh, you can imagine and then like veins are coming out of places I didn't know veins were so stuff out of but that's why I love it that's why I love it if you take ballet or if you take something fun and you're in a beginner's mind leave a comment below I want to know I'm curious um and if you are a great ballet dancer I want to follow you because I love watching ballet it is so inspiring anyway you are awesome because you are you. You are enough because you are you. Keep being you, keep doing what you do. Ballet is something that I probably wanted to do my whole life, like when I, I just love it so much. And now I'm starting to do it because I get to be me, little by little. So keep being you, little by little. Keep it up, Joel. I see you. Can I?